putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple Good string. Ravens fam, so tomorrow we get to see our Ravens play. Now they're playing the Pats. We don't have a good history against the Pats at their home. And that's where we're playing. At their home. It's going to be... It's going to be interesting. Because the Pats lost against the Dolphins week one. We lost against the Dolphins last week. Pats beat Steelers. We haven't beat the Steelers... We didn't beat the Steelers last year. We haven't beat them in a good little minute. Good little minute. But, uh, rah. yeah. We beat the Jets. They haven't played the Jets yet. So, uh, it's going to be interesting because is Mac Jones going to pull a tour on us? As they, they, I guess that's a catchphrase now since he just, every time somebody beat the Ravens, it's just like a catchphrase or something happened. I, I I noticed it. It's like it's like their Super Bowls. Like what what did the Ravens do to make people celebrate that hard? You know what I'm saying? Is is it because we got Lombardies in there? It's a lot of teams that don't have Lombardies. I I don't know. The Dolphins they have a Lombardi. They just I don't, I don't believe they can put the S on it. I I don't believe. If I'm wrong, oh well. But you know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, I think it's going to be an interesting game. For as the Pats defense, the first person I think of is a person that should be a Baltimore Ravens still. And that is Matthew Judon. I still don't understand why they let him go. I know it's business, but like homegrown he was using them wrong now the dude is a stud and he was a stud out here but he's a baby stud but anyway anyway before I go on my tenant um I know they got him I know they have him I know they uh they have a cornerback I can't think of his name right now I'm not gonna look it up um Willis Ellis something like that but he's pretty decent He's pretty decent. Now, as far as their offense, I know they have no run game. I have no idea who their wide receivers are. Um, honestly, the only person I know is Mac Jones. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know a lot about them like far as their offense. I only know about their defense because of Belichick. And Belichick is pretty pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. The Lombardi said. it. Um... I know some people might be saying, oh, there's Tom Brady. Yeah, that, that defense stopped a lot of points being scored so Tom Brady can get more chances to score points. But anyway, um, yeah, and I think our Ravens, I think the offense is going to flourish. Uh, J.K., I don't know. I, if, if I would play J.K., but we know the Ravens don't like to do a lot of things that make sense. And to me, the thing that makes sense, he's practiced fully two weeks. I will play him in this game. I wouldn't have his first game back to be against the Bills. Because that right there should be a primetime game. Um, but I think the offense is going to do good. Offensive line is not bad now. They're going to get tested with Judon. So we're going to have to see what uh, Makari and uh, Morgan do. But um, hopefully they, they keep him away from Lamar. Lamar might have to break some ankles. Um, yeah, for his running back. So if J.K., I don't think he'll be a starter. But I would like to see Justice Hill get his chance because Davis and uh, Drake, that was a waste of money right there. We got to leave the bargain, bargain being Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Dollar stores, all these, all these, uh, uh, mom and pop stores. We we gotta leave them alone. We we get these players that's like that, and it's like, come on now. Um, 
we really have with the running back situation, we really haven't been right since Ingram left. Because we know last year JK and Gus got hurt. And it was like you let Ingram go, he would have been still killing it. You know? But anyway, um tight ends, you know, Isaiah likely and and Mandrews. Mandrews, he's gonna get a TD. Um Isaiah likely will hook you his I believe I don't even think he got a TD yet. Y'all don't think he got a TD yet in the NFL. Will that be his this be his first? Um Bateman. Think he's gonna kill it. I think he's gonna kill it. Um will James Prochet finally play. Cause he haven't played. He didn't play last week, I know that. We when I say finally play, will they give him throw some balls his way? Cause we done had a, plenty of wide receivers that kill it in the practice, but they don't kill it in the real season. And now Bateman is killing it in the real season. Devin DuVernay, he just popped up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, I, don't, I still don't see nobody seeing that coming. Um, he's at a concussion protocol. Um, yeah, James Prose, don't know. Uh... I ain't gonna say nothing about Tyler Wallace. I I don't even think they're gonna have him out there like that. Running standard is out. I, they put that out. I was like, no, oh, he, no. you know, like when we had Eman Marshall. To me, he's the new Eman Marshall because I'm like, like, <laughs> just no words. Just come on, no rushing them back. But I would like to see something. You know what I'm saying? Um. Obviously, my princess in the background, she agrees. Um, defense, yeah. Okay, uh, defensive line, Travis Jones. Hopefully, we see him. Two sacks, two sacks. Put just, throw, just throwing it out there. Just, just a little pass, just a little pass. Travis Jones, two sacks. Um, Eric Calais Campbell, just, just do something. Um, you know, Pierce. Same thing for Calais Cam. Just, just do something. Cause last week was uh, embarrassing. I don't remember seeing no no rush. Yeah, but we got JPP. Um, I don't know if he's uh, he's not gonna play this game. I believe they might throw him out there with the Bills because that's prime time and that's gonna be an interesting game. That's playoff material right there. Um, Oway, yeah. Don't know. Don't know. I'm, I'm just waiting for him to come back because he's still away somewhere. I don't. Could, could he be with Kyler Murray playing the, the beta of Modern Warfare 2? I don't know. He could be with Hollywood. I don't know. Um, But, yeah, hopefully he shows up. You know, stop dropping back in coverage, Mike. Um, Yeah, he shouldn't be. Every time I looked, I was like, oh, he's out there. Then I saw him backpedaling like Marlon Humphrey. I'm like, he's not a cornerback. Um, you know, hopefully PQ, bad game last week, you know, come back. Hopefully that was our only bad game last, you know, last week for this whole year. That shouldn't happen again. Um, hopefully Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters get more playing time. The rookies did okay. Omar Davis and, um, Pepe, they did okay, but, uh, yeah, it was a lot of miscommunication. And that lot of miscommunication came on Cal Hamilton. Cal Hamilton, I re fully respect him. I respect him. I, I know I, I get a little hot sometimes, but I respect him for taking accountability of those mishaps. I know I've seen many of players, many of players try to blame it on other people. He took that accountability that right there shows a mature person as well. Now, we know you take accountability, I want to see some action. So we got to see the action of you not doing that anymore. Let's let's get some picks or something. He was hitting a little bit last week. So come on, put that WD-40 on them, on them thing and start going. Start going. Uh, Marcus Williams, yeah, Hawk. Um, he's going to get an interception again. I think he's leading the league, I believe. But, yeah, he's uh, he's going to get another one again. Um, why, why he wasn't, like, in the back? I don't remember seeing him back there. 
when Tyreek was doing his thing. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't, I had to look at uh, Coach Sip to Tally uh, breakdowns of those plays again because I don't remember seeing him back there for some weird reason. I think he was playing the middle of the field, I think. But, um, yeah, so I don't uh, – it's gonna be a close one. I'm giving I'm giving uh six points. Six points. I think it's gonna be a close close one. Hopefully, uh if we have any fourth and ones and we're in Justin Tucker range, yeah, he kicks it. Harbs kicks it. Put your ego aside, Harbs. Uh you're sixty years old now. Usually when a person gets older, some people become wiser. I guess hopefully he left that let uh it, uh, them bad takes and all that in year 59 now you're 60 so let's keep go positive with this thing uh, but yeah I got it by 6 y'all tell me what y'all think um, hit that like hit that subscribe hit the share everybody thank you for the support see y'all tomorrow hopefully no no messing up on the live stream but yeah stay safe you already know God bless